I'm going to go ahead and welcome you to the webinar. Today's webinar is on integration with Margin Master. My name is Jenny Cooper. You guys have heard and seen me several times on this webinar. I'm running solo today, so I'm kind of organizing myself. This webinar won't take too terribly long, but it will have some good information in here for you. So we are going to go ahead and get started here. Um, the technical level on this is easy, and this can be used for hardware or pharmacy. Primarily hardware are the stores that use this. So we're going to be talking about the integration with Margin Master. What we're going to be covering today, uh, what is Margin Master, first off? How to use Margin Master to export and import inventory price updates um, within Paladin, and then also how to contact Margin Master. One thing that you guys need to be aware of as far as Paladin goes, we actually don't even really have a copy of Margin Master in-house. So if your file is not in the correct format or if you need to know how to work Margin Master in that sense, you'll actually need to contact Margin Master versus contacting Paladin. And at the end of this webinar, I will give out the contact uh, support information for Margin Master. And interestingly enough, the person who actually designed Margin Master is a Paladin user. His name is Brad Green, and so he actually um, was able to figure out some integration to help Paladin and, and help him as well with his Margin Master and help you guys. So, first off, what is Margin Master? Okay, this came directly from the Margin Master website, so we're going to read it via quote and then explain it, um, maybe dummy it down a little bit if need be. So Margin Master is a computer program designed to help retailers achieve incremental gains to their bottom line by enabling them to quickly analyze their current retails. Their retail can be quickly changed to provide unlimited what-if type scenarios. Also, an analyst can be performed, an analysis, excuse me, can be performed against known computer pricing information. The value of Margin Master really shines when the retailer is able to quickly perform these what-if scenarios and see very quickly the impact a proposed retail change has on their bottom line, both on an annual basis and a month-to-month -month basis. So essentially with hardware stores, a lot, of, um, a lot of your bottom line is really looked at as far as uh, your margins go and kind of where they sit, and you'll, you almost need to adjust prices on a fairly constant basis, whether that is weekly, monthly, or annually. Margin Master is going to help you give a quick look and you can also essentially input that information and say, okay, well, if I want to change my price from $5 to $7, how is that going to affect my bottom line and my margin? But you can do it as a what if as stated versus actually going ahead and um, just changing it and then finding out the hard way later with the numbers. So now, how to actually export a margin master file from Palette and Point of Sale. We're going to go over it in the slideshows here, but then also I'm going to show you how to actually do it inside Paladin. So first we want to open Palette and Point of Sale, um, go down to Maintain and Data Viewer, and then click on the Margin Master tab. And they export inventory prices. We're going to select the supplier that you want. Now keep in mind that you may not want to use Margin Master for all suppliers, so Paladin has the option to choose which supplier that you want. You can also do this for several different suppliers if need be. And then we're going to select the file name. From the list, click Open. In the Margin Master window, you're going to click Export. And then the Successful Export window, we're going to click OK. So I'm going to go ahead and move the PowerPoint screen over, and we're going to show you essentially how to do this inside Paladin. So we have Paladin open. We're going to go up here to Maintain Data Viewer. And then we're going to find the Margin Master tab, which in this case happens to be the second row top left. Okay, And then we have Export and Import. Now I don't have Margin Master on my machine, so we will go through this as far as we can just for demonstration purposes. So for here, this is where we would select our supplier. So let's say Hillman needs to be our supplier. Click the gray box next to the file name. This is also called an ellipses button. Okay, This is where we're going to export it to. It's going to automatically go to a tab delimited type text file. You're going to save this as margin master. You can change the title to whatever you need be. 
in this case we'll just put test and then we're going to save it wherever we want. In this case I'm just going to do desktop Sorry about this, guys. Of course, it tends to not want to work for me. Okay. So essentially, once this is saved, we're gonna we're gonna select the location on where we want it to export to. In this case, it's the export file slash margin master. We're gonna hit export. And then, depending on how big your database is, this may or may not take quite a bit of time. And then a button is going to pop up saying that it is a successful export. And just for the sake of time, I have a pretty big database, so I'm going to go ahead and force to cancel out of it. just so we're not sitting here in silence. Go reopen Paladin. Okay, and then we're going to go on to the next screen. Now keep in mind, once we've exported this margin master file, this next slide um, talks about importing it back in. Keep in mind, in between the export step and the import step is where you're going to do whatever you need to do inside Margin Master. Now, this is where you're going to need to know um, how to how to work Margin Master and how to work that file and make sure that it is in the correct format. And if you don't know, this is where we can contact Margin Master. All right, Janet, I will get to your question in just one sec here. I'm, like I said, I'm kind of running solo, so I've got to do this a little backwards. Um, so how to import back in. We're actually going to go to the same, the same exact place that we were in. We're going to go up to Maintain, Data Viewer, Margin Master, and then Import. And here is where we're going to um, select again that little ellipses button and we want to go ahead and select the file that we have saved to the desktop and once we've done the um, changes we're going to hit that little ellipses button and we're going to find right for example here there's a margin master file okay we're going to go ahead and select that and hit open that's going to tell Paladin which file you want to have saved and which file you actually want to have imported back in. And then we're going to hit import. Once that imports, the same little box is going to come up, same import successful, just as if you guys, if you're familiar with your um, import and export of inventory, that's actually going to be the same, uh, the similar workings. It's going to show that it was successfully imported. It's also going to show how many rows and or columns that were successfully imported and or changed. And then you're going to click OK. Now that's that's it as far as working Margin Master inside Paladin. Now I'm going to switch back over to the PowerPoint screen, and we're going to go here so you guys have this information and so it can be seen. We have a knowledge base article which essentially just went over everything that we just talked about, including the slides: how to use Margin Master to export and import inventory price updates. Now I had talked about at the beginning. If you need to, if you need help with the Margin Master file specifically, you need to go ahead and contact Margin Master, and you can do so by this phone number right here, the 989-896-8000, and or you can email them at support at retailersoft.com. And then, as always, a recording of this webinar will be available at paladinpointofsale.com/webinars. Now, Janet, to answer your question, um, let's take a look and see. It says, why would you want to save the file? Um, just so everyone is aware, you're going to want to save that file so Margin Master has a file to reference. It's 
that file is your data, your margins, your prices, and things like that, that you're going to have to import into Margin Master and adjust. Does that answer your question, Janet? And you can chat in yes or just put in another question. Here, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you, Janet. That way you can talk to me real quick. All right, Janet, okay. Janet you're, okay. you're unmuted. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Because um, I've been playing with this. I've been playing with Margin Master for several years, but I've been trying to work with Palette in the last month or so. And um, we're a multi-store, which throws my next question up there, because it's kind of difficult in multi-store in importing. Is it? Yeah. Because the okay. file, cause it, cause I have to do a file for each store. <clears throat> and so that's... I sent you another question because that's what Margin Master asked me to ask you. <laughs> but yes, oh, I okay. and I and I understand what you're saying and I'll have to look at that the next time I go over on Margin Master in a couple of days. Well and that's a good that's a good question because I was unaware that um you have to do it separately instead of each which I think that the reason uh, from my understanding with Margin Master or excuse me, with multi store, you know, you have the ability to do it all in once or separately, but we don't want, from my understanding, Paladin doesn't want to assume that you want the same exact prices and the same exact margin in each store, because I know some locations need to have a different price point than others, so that could be why, but what I'll do is um, I will talk to the developers mm -hmm. and some of the head techs around here and see if it's something that is in the works or if it's something that we can do and I can get back to you. Okay. Yeah, because I understand what you're saying about because people have stores in different markets you want, you may be able to get, but our stores are 20 miles apart, so we have to have the same price. Right. In my particular application, so it just is, and then every time Margin Master has an upgrade to their software, I have to have them rebuild how I save the file because gotcha. of this multi-store thing. So there's a little bit of complication. So, but leave that to me to come up with complications. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I'll check on that for you and I'll probably just shoot you off a quick email, Janet, if that's okay. That's perfect. Thank you. Yep. Not a problem. All right. Does anyone else um, have any other questions? like maybe Joe? Okay, Joe, I'm going to um, unmute you real quick and we're going to talk for a second here. Because this is good to hear, that way all of us know. All right, Joe, you are unmuted. Um, what kind of issues are you having or what kind of questions do you have? Joe, are you still there? Let's see. Oh, I have no mic. Okay. Browser and stores as separate entities. Okay. Let's see. All right, Joe, so what I'm going to do, um, I'll probably just call you or I'll probably just email you. Um, and then we can talk separately after the webinar because it sounds like a store specific thing versus an overall um, overall webinar thing. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll follow up with you. All right, so if no one else has any other questions, um, that is it for the webinars at this point. Um, next week, I believe it is going to be Charles presenting again. Um, and as always, just go ahead and fill out the survey for me at the end, and we will go from there. So everyone else, I hope you guys have a good week, and we will talk to you soon.